Today is the first day without a heat advisory. There's been a heat advisory every day since July 4th. And during the dog days of summer, you may be wondering like, how do I keep my dog safe from overheating? It's a question I've had. I, Brit, Dr. Brittany Capehart's here from Big Dog Ranch Rescue. Now, when I'm walking Tito, I feel like I can't do that 5 p.m. walk down the street that he's used to because it just seems like it's way too hot. It is absolutely too hot for your dogs. We encourage very early morning walks, late in the evening walks, um, try to keep them out out of the heat of the day and obviously in florida that amount of time is a little bit different than the rest of the world but yeah still hot at five o'clock cruella is our star of the show this morning cruella come here cruella just smelling our photographer's foot lewis right now and uh she has real can you show her light skin under I her absolutely belly absolutely can um the belly on a dog is a little sensitive a little less protection there so we have to be careful when they're laying on hot surfaces or if they're laying on their back and get sun exposure um dogs can indeed get sunburned. I did not know that. That's yeah, so we'd say a physical barrier, a little t-shirt. You can wet that t-shirt to help keep them cool a little bit longer. Um, and then her, can you lift her up again? I want to show her little paw pads. I didn't know that these could get burned. They can, especially puppies. Adult dogs build a little bit up, but even in adult dogs, it's very sensitive. Um, the pavement's very, very hot, and these little pink things will definitely get burnt and cause some pain for her. Now I see people getting popsicles. Uh, my dog isn't tolerant to dairy. So is that like, yeah, they can do that. Um, a lot of places give, you know, little whipped cream things, but what we encourage is you can make your own at home, take a little cup, pour some water in it, maybe put a couple treats in there and it'll help keep them cool and they'll oh, lick it and get their treats. That's a great idea. And yeah. then the other thing I did not realize, and I, this just makes me a bad human being, I think, uh, you cannot leave your dog in a running AC car by itself. Yeah, it's actually, um, a lot of people in Florida do it because you know it's hot. We think that's the way, that's the answer to it. Um, you aren't legally allowed to leave your car running with an animal in it or a child so we encourage you just to keep your pet at home and you're not a bad dog owner a lot of people don't know that so what I do with what the tip I have to give to people for Tito because I can't take him on his walk but he can go out in the yard for 10 minutes is I take his long treat and I break it up into 21 pieces and I throw it in the grass and that sort of gives them a mental stimulation absolutely um so they might not be as physically tired but we can mentally make them tired which is just as good of an exercise for them um, that's a very good thing anything to kind of distract them, give them some extra playtime inside. All right, if you want to adopt <laughs> Cruella, and who wouldn't, you go to BDRR.org. Back to you guys in the studio.